day 20 of my journey. I am feeling so good. <sighs> I um, was like kind of dawdled a little bit through today's workout. I could have done it faster. <sighs> That's one, one thing I kind of struggle with, especially because most of the time I'm working out on my own. Um, I just need to try and push myself that little bit more because I know if there were other people with me kind of doing the same workout, I'd be like, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> um, but, oh well, I still did quite well. So, um, so yeah, we'll get into today's workout and at the end of the workout, I'll tell you guys what it was and yeah. better out of this drink bottle now <laughs> must have just been the new filter <coughs> ah, that was good good workout <laughs> um, it was it was meant to be running instead of rowing um, but my shins are just uh, I just don't want to do much impact stuff while my shins are all funny um, so like with my front squats, I was meant to do two box jumps, but I just did two box step ups. Um, cause yeah, it's no point like continuing to in like when you've got shin splints to keep like jumping and bouncing around until it gets a little bit better or stronger. So I'm just going to lay off that kind of stuff for a little while and just alter my workouts to suit. So, um, the workout was meant to be eight sumo deadlift high pulls, 200 meter run, five wall walks, 200 meter run, and that's one round. Um, so yeah, I just substituted it with a 200 meter row. So yeah. yeah. Um, ugh. I might make my breakfast and then come back. <laughs> so I forgot to mention as well, I did that workout in 13 minutes and 10 seconds. So yeah. All right, so today's breakfast, are you ready? <laughs> I don't want to drop this, hey? <laughs> I thought I'd just, you know, bite the bullet and just put it in a big bowl because my normal bowls are just not big enough. So I have half a pineapple, a quarter of a watermelon and a mango. I also have some dipping sauce, which is coconut cream, and I put a little bit of my chocolate vegan protein powder in there, so it's kind of like a chocolatey, creamy dipping sauce with protein. Um, then I've got a big fat juice, which is one, one big cucumber, um, half a bunch of spinach, half a bunch of kale, two apples, and some ginger. So. Mmm, smells good. And then I've just got my big bottle of water as well, which I'll have too. So yeah, that is my breakfast today. Um, I reckon the next videos, like as I mentioned yesterday, um, I'll see how I go on day shift. So I don't know if I'll end up doing as much kind of CrossFit style workouts. I might do more yoga or something that's a little bit more relaxing and will help me kind of de-stress after work. But probably you know, now I'm posting like breakfast and stuff. Um, I'll probably kind of post what I'm having for dinner and stuff throughout day shift. Um, also, I did get a question yesterday. Um, I did answer it, but I just wanted to address it here as well. Um, someone asked me why I eat after workouts, why I don't eat before workouts, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it is definitely personal personal preference. It is probably better to have something in your stomach before you work out. I'm just one of those people that like, as soon as I wake up, I, you know, don't really feel hungry. I need to wait a while. But since I'm awake, I'd rather get my workout just done before it gets too hot. Um, 
so that's why I eat after my workouts as I said it's personal preference um, also some of my workouts can be pretty hard and they can get they are going to get harder um, and I don't want to throw up if I have stuff in my stomach um, it's happened before it was not pretty um, but if you feel like you know you're gonna faint or something or you think geez you know I can't do a workout without anything in my stomach then eat something go for it it's definitely personal preference and you have to find what works best for you this is what works best for me so I'm gonna stick with that <laughs> um, alright guys I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow hopefully <laughs> bye